Hi everybody, my name is Sherry and I am the lead host for the Invisible Disabilities Community on Inspire. So you will see the community right here. This is Inspire and it is brought to you by the Invisible Disabilities Association, which is a nonprofit organization that reaches out to people living with chronic illness, pain, injury, and disability around the world. So I'm going to call it Ida for short. And that is the name of Invisible Disabilities Association. Now the community we call IDC, Invisible Disabilities Community, which you can find at www.invisibledisabilitiescommunity.org. So once you join Inspire, you can add IDC as one of your groups. IDC is a trusted partner of Inspire and what that means is they have several trusted partners that are nonprofit organizations that have been around and have uh, great things to offer like IDA. Inspire also has some other smaller groups that can meet other different requirements like specific uh, diagnoses if you might want to just talk to people in that. So Anyway, first of all, I live with a lot of invisible disabilities. I have multiple sclerosis, Lyme disease, TMJ, um, brain injury, PTSD. I have neck and back injuries and a lot more. So when you watch this video, please be kind because I have a very difficult time staying on track my head is pounding right now and I will probably make a lot of mistakes. So if you can overlook that, proceed. If not, well, proceed anyway, but just be nice. So once you join the IDC, this is the page that you'll see. This is the community. And over here is your community, your channel or your username. Mine is what you can see. It's called but I look good. <laughs> uh, Y'all know what that means. So what that means is, I don't know if it's so true anymore. I'm getting kind of old. But anyway, uh, you know what it means. I mean, we all want to look our best and, and we like compliments if we're, you know, try to get dressed up and look good. But that's not what that means. What that means is when you're telling a friend or a family member or a stranger what you're living with and how hard it is and your struggles and your difficulties and, and they come back with, but you look good. In other words, you, you look fine to me. Yeah, that's a challenge. Anyway, that is my username. So here is the group. As you can see, here's some different topics that you can put your post in. And what this video is going to talk about is how to create a post. As if I scroll down here, you will see some posts. There's, here's one by me and there's um, John Novak and another by uh, me and one by Ida. And I can scroll down and you go, oh, wait, look at that. There's one by me and Oh, that's my cute little pumpkin. Now, if I click on the title, it opens up that post. And oh, that's cute little pumpkin. I'll just have to show you right now. Yes, she's, isn't she adorable? That's my goat. Yes, she's a goat. Don't give me a hard time because goats are amazing. So I'm gonna go back to the group, stay on track, Sherry. And I'm just gonna use my back button to go back to the group. And back to the subject of how do you post? What do you do when you get here? So right here in this box, it says post a question. What would you like to ask about today? So you click on that and it opens it up. There's two different tabs, this discussion and journal entry. And a lot of people get a little confused about Whoa, which one do I use? So with the reason you would want to choose discussion or journal entry is um, discussion, for instance, is just going to go to the IDC community and it's not going to go to other groups and inspire. Whereas if you click on the journal entry, this is a cool feature about inspire. I've never seen this on any other platforms. 
you can join IDC and then you can join, let's say you have, like me, you have uh, multiple sclerosis or you have um, fibromyalgia or you have lupus. There's different groups that you can also join that specifically talk about those diagnoses. So the benefit of the journal, and this is so cool, you can make one post and you can send it out to multiple communities. I'm going to click on here because I'm going to show you some of my communities. It, for this purpose, for some reason, it is not scrolling all the way down. Normally, I can scroll all the way down. But let's say I want to do a journal entry for autoimmune diseases and bones and joints and chronic pain. So I clicked on those and it added those items. And again, what's so cool about this is you make one post and it goes to all these different communities. And so that increases your vis visibility of your post. And it also keeps you from having to write the same post in all your groups. Isn't that awesome? So I'm just gonna go just for simplicity's sake, go back to discussions. And let's say you're going to write a post here. And this just goes to, again, it just goes to IDC. So let's say you're new and you want to click on a new topic. So you go, oh, I think I want to introduce myself. So you, this is kind of like an email. Here's the subject line and then here's the what you want to say, your message. So let's say you want to say, let's just do caps to make it easier. Hi, I'm new. And then you write. Now you don't have to put your name, your real name, you have a username. You can if you want. You can wait until you get to know people. You don't ever have to. You, you do what you want to do, what you're happy with or what makes you comfortable. So you can write as little as you want or as much as you want in here. You can write your whole story. You can just write, hi, I'm new. You know, what's new? What's going on? Who are you? What's up? But what a lot of people do is they say things like, I live with, and whatever that is. And you say, I am here because, let's say you want support or you're having a hard time with your relationships or um, you are just really challenged with all your losses. So you just put as much or as little as you want. And oh, what's this? This is really cool. This is a camera, an icon of a camera. So if you want to add a picture to your post, you just click on there and it opens up two different files. This one is your Inspire Photos. Now, if you're new, you're not going to have any photos in your Inspire Photo file yet. So you'll have to click on Upload New Photos. And what that will do is it opens up your files in your computer, and then you find the picture that you want. You click on the picture, you upload it, and then you add it to the post. I'm not gonna do that here because I really don't wanna take screenshots of my actual computer. So it's pretty self-explanatory if you've ever uploaded any kind of pictures to other social media. So anyway, you go back to, uh, let's say um, you've uploaded some pictures on previous posts. And so I'm just gonna go through, these are some of my current pictures that I've already put up on different posts. And so it saves them all, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can use them again. I, I love this one. Has anyone told you today just how awesome you are? Has anybody? Well, you are. <laughs> so anyway, I think just a fun one. Um, and then sometimes when um, somebody's new, I like to welcome them by leaving a nice little, oh, welcome friends. And then once I, you can do several pictures for your post. And then let's say I just want to, so then I want to select the images. Ta-da! It goes on the post. So. Again, this is my discussion post. Hi, I'm new. I live with, I'm here because blah, blah, blah. So I have pictures and I have my message and it's going to Invisible Disabilities Association. It's going under introduce yourself. 
Now, what is this? This is a drop down. Public members or inspired friends. Public, you would choose that if you were okay for somebody uh, researching, let's say they're searching in Google or Yahoo or Bing or whatever you use, and they're looking up um, multiple sclerosis or something, and somehow the search engine picks up your post. Some people like to have that available to the search engines. A lot of people like just to choose members only. That way, whatever they post and whatever the members post stays within that group. In the discussions, it's going to stay in that one group. In the journal, again, it's going to go to whatever communities. But most people prefer just to use the members. Now, the Inspire Friends is once you become a member and you start getting to know people, you can add them as friends, just like you do on other social media. For now, what I'm going to do, and that's if you just want to send a post just to your friends, but I want to send it to all the members of IDC, so I'm going to click on members. And so I'm done. I've got my subject, my message, my pictures. You don't have to put pictures, but if you want, and I have all these chosen and I click post. Ta-da! There you go. And it says, hi, I'm new. And there's my username. And if somebody wants to reply, they just reply right there. So going back to the group, you can click Invisible Disabilities Association right here, or you can go back up in here and it goes back to the group. Ta-da, there you go. And my post is at the top because it's brand new. The newest are at the top. And here's um, all the other posts. And you can just keep scrolling down and there's lots and lots of posts. Over here, there's the community leaders and uh, links and resources and tweets from Ida and all kinds of fun stuff. But the purpose of this video is just to show you how to do a post. And there you have it. So post away. Tell us about yourself. Um, share some fun things. Um, share some difficult things. Uh, share what you'd like. Uh, a lot of times people want to share, um, I don't know, what kind of exercises they do. I don't know. That's probably dangerous. <laughs> now that I think about it. Really, um, this is a group for people who are living with invisible disabilities, chronic illness, pain, injury, and other disabilities. So it's, you know, none of us are counselors. We're not doctors. We're not um, legal advocates. So, you know, what you share and what you do, please check with your doctor first. So anyway, post about yourself, introduce yourself, and, and don't stop there. You know, scroll down and reply to some other posts. Let me show you how to do that just super quick. Here is the title of another post. You just click on it and you read the post. And then you go down, here's some other people that have replied to the post. You can reply specifically to their comment, or you can just go all the way down and reply to the post right here, your reply. You click on there and you say, I agree. That is great. So there's your post. And that's, your, that's basically your reply to that post and you just put post and your reply goes through. Just like that. Ta-da! I agree, that's great. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my back button to go back to IDC. And I encourage you to go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us about yourself. Um, scroll down and meet some other people. Reply to their posts. Hey, we're all in this together. We've all had a lot of losses, a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulties every day. So share them and encourage someone else and let other people know that they're hurt as well. So. It's great to meet you. I hope to see you often. Don't forget to invite your friends to join us.
Thank you. Have a great day.